Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video I am doing a huge Zara haul. I think this is my biggest order so far. I spent over £500 on this haul, but these were all made at different times just because I kept going on the Zara website and new things would come in and I would just... I couldn't help myself so I made so many orders and I thought I would do this big haul for you guys. I know you all love my Zara hauls and I haven't done one in a long time. I feel like my last Zara video was the loungewear one so it's not really kind of normal clothes. So this one is a mixture of Christmas, New Year's Eve outfits, so a bit like sparkly and also casual pieces that I saw online that I really liked. So I thought I would talk you through them. I really hope you enjoy this video. If you do enjoy it, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already so you can be part of my little family. Before I get started, don't forget to follow me on Instagram. I post a lot of my outfits on there. So if you need any outfit inspiration, you know where to go. up was this bodysuit so it's a one shoulder bodysuit with a long sleeve which I absolutely love you guys know how I feel about my one shoulder asymmetric top so of course I had to pick this piece up now the thing that I didn't know about this is that it actually is like a glittery top when I saw it on the website I thought it was an all black plain bodysuit um, but when it arrived I noticed that there's like little threads of glitter um, which is quite nice actually because it's obviously a little bit more festive. If you look from afar you can't really tell so I like that this could actually be worn really casually or you could wear it as a dressy piece. If I come a bit closer you can see there's kind of some like glittery threads in between which I couldn't tell online. Um, I'm not wearing a bra with this. I don't really wear, need to wear a bra with this. It's not see-through um, so I think it's good to go. And I've just styled it with my classic Zara high-waisted pants. These are like a couple of years old, but I think these are part of Zara's like classic collection. They always have these um, on their website every year. So I have these in the cream and the black. And I just thought this was a really nice kind of festive outfit, but really simple at the same time. And I've styled it with black mules. together is this kind of smart casual look. I've paired these wide leg high-waisted pants with this knit cold kind of top set which I think is really cool. It's a little bit different to my usual style but I really like the pairing together. You guys know how much I love high-waisted trousers and wide leg pants so of course I had to go for these. They're in this really nice thick material. I love the dark grey colour, it's kind of like a charcoal grey and I don't have this kind of colour in my wardrobe so I do feel like I needed this pair and I absolutely love the length it comes to. So for me it kind of, it doesn't touch the floor with some shoes on which I love because I find it hard to find long trousers. A lot of the trousers come up a bit cropped and I really like this length and I feel like if you're shorter than me, so I'm five foot eight and a half, if you're shorter than me then these would look so gorgeous with a pair of heels on because they would probably touch the floor and just look really nice. So on this occasion I've paired them with a pair of Veja trainers because this is just how I would style it for an everyday kind of look. So I really like this knitted kind of cobalt two-piece um, set so you've got this bandeau style knit and then it comes with this like cardigan which naturally falls off the shoulder so I'll show you from the back it's like that and I just think it's really flattering you guys know I love having this area exposed I think it just looks really beautiful the sleeves are kind of tight here and then they're looser here which I think is super flattering but yeah I think I pair these two together because obviously they're in the grey colour tone palette so I thought they would work really well and I actually really like this look. So this next outfit is a knit dress in this pinky 
cream colour. It's a really light, what kind of colour is this actually? It's kind of, it's like a grey with undertones of pink and beige. It's a really pretty colour and I just love wearing knit dresses. I think they're just so cute, they're very flattering. And the thing that I love about this one is that it has this kind of, this ribbed thing here which is tight. Um, so I think it really gives you a nice figure. It's sort of an elasticated material so it really sits tight here but then you can kind of lift it up. So it kind of looks like you've tucked a jumper into a skirt but it's all one piece. This also has a high neck and when I picked it up I was like oh no I'm gonna get makeup on this one but it actually has a small zip at the back which helps you put this on more easily and then I like the big sleeves that it has. <laughs> yeah I like the big sleeves that it has. Um, I just think it works really well together and I've paired it with my black Dr. Martin boots just because they go with all of my winter outfits. For me it's not that cold yet um, so I would go out with my legs bare and just a coat on top but if it is colder of course just pop on a pair of tights and you're good to go. knit dresses we have this brown knit dress which is actually quite similar to the one that you just saw um, except that it doesn't quite have that elasticated waistband again it kind of looks like you've got a skirt and a jumper because this bit comes over which I love so it is slightly tighter here as it goes down of course I was drawn to the brown color of this if you saw my winter trends video you'll know that I'm all into the brown tones and it's actually one of the big trends this season um, so I of course had to pick this one up and it has balloon sleeves so it's everything I love for a knit dress I've styled it with my Doc Martens just because they're classic and they go with everything pop on a pair of tights if your legs get cold but for me I kind of love just having my legs out, <laughs> out um, and I try avoiding tights where I can and also where I live in England the climate is not that bad it only gets really cold kind of in January or in February so right now I could go out with this if I had a coat on um, but yeah I think this is a really gorgeous knit dress of knit dresses you can tell that I'm really enjoying knit dresses at the moment because I feel like a lot of things I'm purchasing are knit dresses um, but I think they're just so perfect for the season they keep you warm they still look on trend I'm not really a jeans person I do wear jeans occasionally but for me knit dresses are the most comfortable thing to wear so yeah I've gone for another knit dress but this one is different it's a midi knit dress it's in a green color not in the neutral palette. So I saw this green dress and I had to pick it up. I am obsessed with it. I love it so much that I, as soon as I got it, I wore it on the same day. And it's actually in a vlog. If you see my Vlogmas part one, um, I wore it there. It's on my Instagram. I love this knit dress so much. I've got so many questions on it. It's a really beautiful dress. I would say though, it's in this wool material. So if you are someone who is sensitive to wool, I wouldn't recommend it because it is a little bit itchy. Um, but for me, I'm someone that like really, I don't care. I can have like sequin stuff that I know a lot of people get bothered by. Um, wool doesn't bother me. So for me, it's cool. So if you're like me and you don't really get irritated by materials, this is a perfect dress. So I just started this dress with my Isabel Moron belt just because I felt like it needed something to kind of cinch in the waist and give it a little bit more shape. And I absolutely love this belt to style pieces with. It's such a versatile belt um, and I think it really goes nicely with this look. And I've got my Dr. Martens on, so it really ties in with the black look. It also features this high neck and obviously it's sleeveless and you can see there's, it kind of, it's like a ribbed line material. So it's a line going down. And then I picked up this coat, which I'm gonna pop on top also from Zara, which again, I'm obsessed with. And I think they look amazing put together and I would never think to put those two colors together but when I had it on I got so many compliments again this picture's on my Instagram so if you follow me on there you probably recognize this outfit so 
So I picked up this coat from Zara and I put it together with this dress and I absolutely love the combination. It's not a colour that I would usually put together, this green and camel colour, but actually on, I'm obsessed with it. I received so many compliments on the day I wore it. And I picked up this coat because this is a really good dupe to this coat that Hailey Bieber wore. I'll insert a picture here. She basically wore a coat like this and it's one of the street style pictures of her that always go around, you always see on the internet. And then I was on Zara and I saw this coat and I was like, that literally looks like the exact coat. So of course I had to pick it up. And the one that she has is actually around a thousand pounds. And this was a hundred or under a hundred pounds. It features this cuff sleeve detail, which, which was actually one of the main like focal points of Hayley Bieber's outfit. So it was essential that the coat had this. It's collarless, so it's kind of, it's like this. Um, and then it also features a belt, but I really love this coat. I think it looks so much more expensive than what it is. It kind of looks like a Max Mara wool coat. This is what it looks like tied up. And I honestly just love this coat so much. It is quite thin, so if you did want to wear it in winter, you kind of need to layer up underneath. So when I wore this outfit out, I actually wore a um, one of my maxi cardigans underneath just to give me a bit more layering, just to give me a little bit extra warmth. So I would recommend if you do want to wear this in the colder months, you will need to like kind of wear thicker things underneath because it is very thin. So the next thing that I picked up is a little bit more festive, it's got the sparkles, um, so it was this mini skirt which has these embellished strings and it has this little tie wrap waist. I just thought this was really cute and a really nice way to dress up for New Year's Eve or Christmas. I paired it with this plain black bodysuit, it's an open back bodysuit, this one's from ASOS um, but I just thought it was a really nice look to put together. I like wearing really like sparkly jazzy things with plain things on top. So I think it's just a really flattering skirt and I love these little shimmers. It just makes you want to like... And this will be so nice like when you're dancing or when you're like just moving around. It really catches the light and I just think this is so gorgeous. On the sparkles and embellishments we have this blazer dress and I am obsessed with this I think this looks so expensive this definitely feels more expensive it looks like a cross between a Balenciaga hourglass blazer and an area dress um, so it's super super flattering it really gives you this hourglass figure which I of course love and then you have a cutout on the side and it has these little embellished strings I actually featured this in my Christmas New Year's Eve lookbook so if you saw that you would recognize this blazer dress but yeah this is just a really gorgeous piece for New Year's Eve and I think it looks so classy I love that it has these shoulder pads it's like a really strong shoulder look and really flattering on. I paired it with a plain black pair of heels but I think you could also wear this with a thin pair of tights like kind of see-through tights. It has these tuxedo style buttons and this collar that comes across like this and because it's quite thick, I'm poking myself, because it's quite thick you don't have to wear a bra underneath because you're not going to see anything um, which I love so this is really good. So next up we have this all white outfit, um, so I've got on these asymmetric jean slash trousers type, they're, in, they're like a mixed material and then this knit top which is very thin and very see through by the way, um, I'm not sure if the camera is picking it up but you can literally see everything underneath so I've just got a strapless bra on but you will be able to see this in real life but yeah I just saw this in their new in collection and I fell in love with the trousers and I loved how 
I, I love the pairing on the website. This top was just very cool. It's a really nice basic to have, although it's really see-through, so I'm not sure how practical that is. Let's talk about the trousers first. So we have these asymmetric trousers, which are super long and which I love because they touch the floor. Um, and I love that. So if you are shorter than me, you probably will need to get these tailored, um, but I think they're definitely worth it because they just feel really nice. They have this asymmetric detail. I love wearing kind of the wide leg cream trousers in the summer with, in a thinner material. So this is the perfect winter alternative. It's in this kind of like denim material, which I was surprised about because online I just thought it was a pair of trousers, but it's more like a jean kind of material. I paired them with a white pair of trainers, my Veja trainers, which go with everything. And yeah, I just really like this look. I think it's a really chill, casual, vibe and I will be wearing this a lot. Maybe with a different top just because this is quite see-through. So next up we have this velvet off the shoulder top which again it would be more for the festive season just because it's in this velvet material it's a bit more dressier um, but I just thought I needed to pick this up because I don't have any velvet pieces in my wardrobe and I just thought this was really flattering because it is off the shoulder I styled them with my Zara high-waisted pants and just a pair of mules and I just think this is a really nice laid-back look but you're still kind of dressed up for the festive season so the top is in this ruched detailing it's really tight on and then it has on the side you can see again it's ruched and on the sleeves it comes all the way down and it's off the shoulder so I think it's really flattering you can just see how much of the neck is exposed I just thought this was a really nice simple black top that again is really timeless you could bring this out year after year velvet always comes in for like Christmas and New Year's so it's a really nice piece to have in your wardrobe that you can bring out every year we have this knit loungewear jogger set and um, I just thought this colour was really beautiful and of course I love knit so I thought this would be a really nice combination and it is I do really like this this is kind of the outfit I would wear for like running errands if I'm popping to the supermarket I'd throw on my trench coat over it and I think it would still look really chic but you're really comfortable it's also very warm um, I've only had this one for like a couple of minutes and I am sweating so this is super warm which is good for those colder months. I think because of this gorgeous colour and because it's in this knit material, um, it still looks really chic so it's a really nice way to wear loungewear and I think the tailoring of it is actually really nice as well. It's cuffed at the bottom of the pants and it's cuffed at the sleeves so it gives you this really nice shape and then you've got this really thick high waistband um, and then I've just folded the jumper so it just sits a little bit like that. up in this haul was this jumper and this is the limited edition jumper so I know Zara bring out collections and they put limited edition in front of it um, so I assume that they once they're gone that they're gone um, and the reason I picked up this jumper is because it just looked really high-end to me it reminded me of that brand All Send Iris um, with like the corset stitch detail so this jumper was £159 which is very expensive for a jumper from Zara it's a really like high-end price but I think it's just because it's in this really nice thick material I can't remember if this was a blend with like a wool or alapaca um but yeah is I it, had to it's alapaca yeah that's what it's alpaca <laughs> <laughs> it is alpaca alapaca <laughs> oh 
Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Let's correct myself. I think it's a wall or <laughs> Okay, I just don't want to say that statement anymore. Anyway, the reason I picked it up is just because I wanted to see what it was like in real life because for £160, this jumper better be doing bits. And to be honest, I do really like it. I paired it with this leather skirt, which is also from Zara, but like a couple of hauls, Zara hauls ago. Um, but I think this would look nicer with something maybe more fitted, like with a black knit skirt or even like a satin skirt, it would look really nice. But I'm not sure if I'm going to keep this just because it is quite pricey just for a Zara jumper. But I must say, it does look really high end. Like if I saw someone wearing this and I didn't see Zara did this, I would think it was a designer. It has this corset kind of detail like with the cutouts and then these really nice shaped sleeves. Okay, so that was everything in the haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments down below what other videos you'd like to see on my channel. And if you did enjoy this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you can be a part of our little YouTube family. Um, and yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.